Hey, Chet Screw and other viewers. After that old singing thing yesterday, I went to get back in my comfort zone and uh, bring the funny, so away we go. <laughs> but now, uh, today's video is going to be another one of the Journey of Our Junker series. And this one is about a 1983 Pontiac J2000. It's an early version of a Pontiac Sunbird. We got this car from uh, the same friends that's involved in the pizza cook off video. If you want to go back and check that out, uh, it's my wife's best friend and, and her uh, soon to be husband at this time. Uh, they hadn't been married yet when this story took place. So. But anyway, uh, he had this old Pontiac guys like I said. Trying to sell it, but uh, since we need the vehicle, we're really friends. He's not going to be able to do the friends. But anyway, when uh, he had it, he had done a little bit of body work to it. Never had a lot of motor pain, uh, and he worked with the Earth Oil Company uh, driving the oil truck. They had given him a uh, let him take a gallon of. Anyway, he, uh, he didn't want to paint the car white, so he, uh, he bought some dark blue paint. And if he put the dark blue and white paint, he could make it uh, blue, but I guess. Making white paint into blue isn't as easy as he thought. Uh, he had some dark blue paint, the gallon of white paint, and turned it green. Uh, almost like the color of the skull. night before the wedding it was a severe snowstorm must have had between a foot and a foot and a half of snow on the ground so anyway the next day uh, her parents was uh, from out of town so they were following me to get to where we were going and we had to go down an old side road that was uh, or I didn't have to but I decided to because it was quicker go down an old side road that uh, wasn't paved it was just gravel and I wasn't thinking that since it was a side road that was gravel and not paved, it wouldn't be plowed yet because they always do the paved roads first. But anyway, I, like I said, when I was young, I, I didn't have much fear behind the wheels. So, and uh, I knew I had the good tires on the front. And you couldn't make that little thing slide in the snow because those tires kept it in line good. So. Anyway, <laughs> we turned down that road and when we were, as we were going, we were plowing the snow up over the, up over the hood. And uh, actually, her father at the time had uh, he had uh, a car pretty nice, like mine, a Pontiac uh, Sunbird, but it was a couple of years newer. But he never had the snow tires, and he was following me, man. He was trying to stay on my rock, but he was slipping and sliding and going all to it. But anyway, that was just a funny thing I remembered about the car there. And uh, so, anyway. Back when I uh, was younger and, and wasn't the size and and uh, health problems I have now, I used to do some work to my own vehicles like uh, body work and, and things like that, change my own oil. I couldn't do much mechanically because I, I didn't know much about mechanics. But, but anyway, we had a bad muffler, had a hole into it or something there, not a muffler exhaust. And I bought some of this uh, exhaust uh, repair kit. It had like putty into it and, and tape and all this good stuff. So I used all the directions, put it on there good and, <laughs> and uh, done what it was supposed to do. So anyway, it, it worked good for a couple days. <laughs> but anyway, we was in shopping, doing some shopping there. And, and uh, on the way back home, we was coming along. We hit this big old water puddle because it had been raining. <laughs> 
when we hit the water puddle, we was going on and then all of a sudden, as soon as we hit the puddle, it was like, it must have knocked the patch off or something, it was like, <laughs> so anyway, uh, as soon as it happened, like, my wife and I just looked at each other and just started laughing, uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, but that was another funny thing I remembered about that car, and then when we got ready to junk it, uh, <laughs> it was getting on its last legs there, we knew it, and we were getting ready uh, to go somewhere one day, and we were driving along, and uh, just started to come out, out of West Green Harbor, where we lived at the time, and in the camshaft or something, I, I guess a mechanic told us afterward that by the signs of it, that is what happened. We were driving along, and then all of a sudden, it was just like, <laughs> So we were driving up this road here, and, and everybody that we drove by, the people were outdoors, they were like looking all around like, what is that? <laughs> but anyway, like I said, uh, and we ended up taking it down to Annette's parents here. We drove it the whole way down to Port Bear to, <laughs> to junk it because her father was a lobster fisherman and had a big side yard there where he kept his lobster traps and stuff. And, and uh, he said, yes, Bob, he said, break it down and park it in underneath the tree there and, and uh, we'll drain the oil and gas out of it and, and just uh, leave it there. He said, it ain't going to bother nothing. So. Anyway, that's what we ended up doing with it. But now I just want to share those couple of funny yarns with you there that I remembered that about that care and, and just to keep the journey of our Junker series going. But, but anyway, with that, I'll say, remember, if you can't live with me, live at me. But keep live. Have a nice day. If you like this video, please remember to like, share, and even comment. It helps the channel very much. And if you'd like to become a member of Chet's crew, it doesn't cost a cent. Just hit that subscribe button. And remember, if you can't laugh with me, laugh at me. But keep laughing. Have a nice day.